Belarus has deployed aircraft and air defense troops to the border with Ukraine a day after President Alexander Lukashenko announced he would station about a third of the country's troops along the border, according to Associated Press. The Belarusian military has deployed anti-aircraft missiles and soldiers from the Radio Technical Corps, Major General Andrei Lukyanovich, commander of the Belarusian Air Defense Forces, said on national television. He called the move a significant increase. Associated Press recalls that the Belarusian army has a total of about 60,000 troops. Recently, Lukashenko said that Belarus had redeployed almost a third of its army to the border with Ukraine. This is due to the fact that there are allegedly more than 120,000 Ukrainian soldiers there. In his opinion, Ukraine believes that Putin will again attack from the territory of Belarus. After the invasion of Ukrainian troops into the Kursk region of the Russian Federation, Lukashenko began calling for negotiations. Ukraine has not confirmed the Belarusian deployment to the 1,084-kilometer common border. Russia has used Belarus which depends on Russian loans and cheap energy as a staging ground for its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, moving its troops through Belarusian territory to attack Ukraine from the north. Russia also moved some of its tactical nuclear weapons to Belarus in 2023. In Russia, it began to be openly discussed that Ramzan Kadyrov's Chechens had betrayed Russia and entered into a separate agreement with Ukraine, according to ZRA media outlet. It is noted that Russian Z military bloggers claim that Kadyrov's men from the Akhmet unit backstabbed the Russians, avoiding a clash with the Ukrainian armed forces during the attack on the Kursk region. A former Wagner mercenary, who goes by the name Alex Parker, has shared on his Telegram page that Kadyrov's forces were well informed about the Ukrainian advance and intentionally allowed them to proceed. The deal was reportedly facilitated through an intermediary, Hussein Jambatov, a former Ukrainian soldier who later returned to Chechnya. Russian military propagandists have expressed outrage, accusing Kadyrov of betraying Russia by orchestrating a secret non-aggression pact with Ukraine. This alleged treachery has fueled claims that Kadyrov's men abandoned their positions and avoided combat rather than defending the Russian frontier. Recent Russian media reports have further criticized Kadyrov's units for reportedly fleeing from the border and failing to engage in the ongoing conflict, abandoning their strategic posts. This situation has sparked heated discussions and raised concerns about the reliability of Kadyrov's forces amid the larger backdrop of the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Kadyrov's men understood the balance of forces and did not want to lose their fighters by simply allowing the Ukrainian armed forces to enter Russian territory. The puzzle is complete, writes a Russian military propagandist, accused call. Ukraine's operation in Kursk Oblast has allowed it to seize temporarily the battlefield initiative in part of the front line and contest Russia's theater-wide initiative. Belarusians are also fighting in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation as part of Ukrainian units. In particular, these are fighters of the tank unit TUR of the 225th Separate Assault Battalion. The backbone of the TUR unit is made up of Belarusian The fighters carry out complex operations and retrieve damaged Russian equipment from the front, which they then repair and use. In the Kursk region, a tank displaying the white-red-white flag has been spotted. This flag is typically used by the TUR unit, 
which is composed of Belarusian fighters and is integrated into the 225th Separate Assault Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. Recently, Belarusian tank unit has acquired a unique trophy for Ukraine a modern Russian tank T-90M Prorev-3. This modification is one of the newest Russian developments. Recall, Belarusians have a complex role in the war, both through official support for Russia and by actively fighting in Ukraine. Belarusian volunteers and military formations contribute significantly to Ukraine's defense against Russian aggression, reflecting their commitment to Ukrainian sovereignty and opposition to the Belarusian government's policies.